a very exciting day here on Aquaholic today because I'm bringing you the brand new Nordhaven N41. Here she is. This is the first one into the UK and it's very, very exciting to have a look at this. We do love a Nordhaven on Aquaholic and to see a brand spanking new model like this is really interesting. And I think the question that we most want to answer today is, is this classic Nordhaven. So we're going to do the full tour. I'm going to point out just as we go past, there's a step here, which means it's really easy to step onto the boat from the pontoon. You don't have to go around to the back if you don't want to. You can come on this way. However, I think we will go around to the back, start there, work our way forward and show you the entire boat. Now it does look properly Nordhaven, very sturdy. I like these overhangs that they've got on here. I like the colour scheme as well. I think it looks really good. Back here, bathing platform and they've put these bars so you can stand on the back here if you want to. Now these will unplug, you can pull these out if you don't want them there, you don't have to have them. We'll head on this way, there's a transom door, that takes us down to the cockpit, and they've left this open for freestanding furniture so you can lay this out however you want. We're gonna do the deck areas of course, we'll do the whole boat, but I think we will start first of all with the inside, and that's in through here. They've gone for a walnut wood on this. It's a satin finish. It looks really good. And there's a couple of things to point out. First of all, you can see we've got a seat here. What you can do with this is they've got what's called a trotter box. That's this area here. You can take that panel out and that will extend that right through. So you've got a full length berth. So for cruising, or if you've got an off watch crew member, they can sleep there if they want to. Or of course, during the day, normally it's just seating opposite the dinette that's here. And in fact, this table will drop as well so that you can convert that. You've got blinds that drop down. There's a big fridge freezer over here and then all the electrics are on this side. So your shore support, your 12 volt ship systems, everything is very easy to get at, very easy to control, exactly as you expect on this kind of boat. This then is your fridge and freezer, not the only ones on the boat. I'll show you one of those in a moment, but that is, uh, that's the fridge and then there's a freezer compartment down underneath here, all lovely quality. And those are directly opposite the galley. That's on this side. Now again, as you'd expect from Nordhaven, it's proper cooking, so you have a proper big four burner hob. There's the oven underneath, of course. This is all storage around the place in places like this. And up here, glasses as you can see live on here and then these are all drawers in places like this but one thing I did want to show you which I found in here now Nordhavens are all about long distance and fully autonomous cruising so what you've got in here is a handbook and a half I'm just going to show you a little bit of this this is the kind of detail they go into so that if you're ever out somewhere on some far-flung place and you've got an engineer on a boat or you even if you want to look on yourself every single bit of wiring and plumbing every little aspect is covered absolutely amazing so that as i say is so that wherever you are in the world if you want to access stuff yourself if you're that way minded or if you've got an engineer on board who wants to know what that bit of wiring does everything's there Soft closed drawers on this one. And then you've got more storage and the bins are over on that side. And then the helm, well that is up here. There's a side access door so you can go straight out onto the side deck from here and also a lift bolster so you can stand at the helm as we have here. Or you can sit down of course. Classic forward sloping windscreens as you get on all Nordhavens gives that little ship feel and also very practical because you don't get reflections on those. And then up here at controls, how we can see these. There we go, that's better. So things like your black water tank and your grey water tanks, discharges, all that sort of stuff. That's all controlled from up there. And then down here is your navigation area. So this one, for example, is taking you into things like your radar and charts and depth and all that kind of stuff is there. Um, and the or engine instrumentation, then it's twin engines on this one. We'll come to those, of course. The other thing you've got on this one is track stabilizers. So that's the controls for those. And then across here, all your switch gear, 
this is quite interesting it's got proper air horns with a compressor and it's all proper ship stuff it's very very impressive and also as i say we will come to the engines but just to mention these are fully mechanical there's no electronics on them which means that you don't have electronics to go wrong you operate that and it's pushing a cable and pushing the engine into gear and then throttling it up not talking through electronics and computers bow thruster control is there and they've got alarms here for engine alarms, bilge alarms, that kind of stuff. Or you can see and hear them very easily. Let's go a little bit further. So we've got steps down here. They do two layouts with this boat. They do a single cabin and a twin cabin. This one is the twin cabin. I suspect this will be the most popular. With a single cabin, what you gain is a big dressing room. But with this, if we go right to the front, this then is the master cabin. Again, really nicely trimmed in this walnut. It looks really good. Over on this side, storage down here. This is all storage around here and over here. And then on this side, there is a really big illuminated hanging locker. Some decent hull windows in here as well. And then you've got a hatch up above. So plenty of light and air into here. And if we come out of here, there is another cabin then on this side. What's nice about this is you've got the twin beds, one across here and one across here, but the way they've laid this out is like a little settee, so you have got somewhere where you could tuck yourself away with a good book if you wanted to. Um, very much a Nordhaven thing, what you've got on here. These are Lee cloths, these uh, white fellows. What you do with that is you can lift that up and they hook onto these, these pop out of the ceiling. There we go. And the same on the other side and it means that if you're doing something really serious like i don't know crossing the atlantic and yes you could with this boat then you can put a lee cloth there and make sure that you're held in obviously that's quite a high bed you wouldn't want to drop out of that one by accident and then also down here on the lower deck if you go over to this side this then is the heads it's a single heads on this one so you've got the sink there the loo and then a completely separate shower area on that side because people are going to ask what's under the floor i will say i don't know <laughs> but i'll have a look okay not a very great deal that's just access to panels and so forth for getting into some of the engineering areas you can see for example that one just there which gets me down to the top of that tank plus a bit of storage i guess if you wanted to use it for that Now, talking of the engineering areas, let's head on back a bit further because there's something rather interesting further back. If we come back here, this is basically like a utility room. There is a posh name for this. It's something like a commission air or something and I can never remember. So we'll refer to it as the utility room, but it's a very interesting area. If we drop down here, What you gain with this is a freezer over on this side. Again, if you're doing serious distance work, you need to be able to keep stuff frozen for obvious reasons. And then over on this side is the washing machine. And then there's a load of storage down here. These are all the dressing gowns and towels, all Nordhaven branded that come with it. Shelving in here as well. So yeah, that is basically a utility room. I think that's brilliant on a 41 foot boat. Didn't expect to find that. Very useful indeed. Let's go on a bit further. And I think what we will do is take a look at the deck areas. There we go. And then finish up with the engines. So, I'll put my shoes back on for this bit. There we go. Back here is the lazarette. those catches so in here the boarding ladder for example you can see lives in here there's a life raft in here if we drop right down in you can access all the steering gear autopilot also down here it's all designed so that you can reach anything that you need to get to all battery systems and all of the main battery isolators are down here as well so all really easy to reach and really easy to operate. 
Excellent. Let's press on a bit further. For a small boat, there's a lot to see. Okay, let's drop that one back down. That one there. is just a lift up table. So if you're catering out here, you've got somewhere to put things. Let's take a walk around this side first of all. One thing I have noticed, nice wide side decks. So we can walk around here very easily. And these rails, they really are, they're actually at waist height. It's a very safe boat to move around. That's the door right next to the helm. You can possibly just see it in there, see the wheel. And we come right up onto the front. They put flush hatches onto here. This is over the guest cabin, this is over the master cabin, and that means, well, first of all, it looks better, but secondly, of course, you can put big cushions on here then if you want to for sunbathing. If you come right to the front, a really serious ultra anchor on there, power winch, of course, and a very deep anchor locker. Look how deep that is. And the reason that that is a good thing is because it keeps the centre of gravity low. That chain is a lot of weight that you're carrying and the best place for it is low down in the boat. What I'll also show you while we're here, we'll step up onto here. This is a boat deck up on the top. A couple of things to mention. First of all, solar panels back here. Another hatch that's over the helm position. This is a remote control searchlight. But you can see there's a crane up there and that is to lift your tender. So that would live up here on the top. There's better access, in fact, from the cockpit. I'll show you that as we go around. But another thing I wanted to mention is this mast. So this has got your air horns on, it's got your radar on, it's got your nav lights, but it's also on a hinged base. So you can undo these and you can drop that flat. And that means you can get this boat into the canals. If you wanted, for example, to take it down through the French canals, then you can do it. That's a really great feature. It just really opens up all of the inland waterways to you, as well as being an offshore boat. So I mean, for exploring, it's absolutely brilliant. You're not gonna get somewhere and think, let's go up that river and find you can't get under a bridge. Okay, let's head on back because the last thing to discuss is the engines. And we will find those fellas underneath the floor I'm going right up to the front here and I've left this to last because I just think it's such a wonderful area and it just sums this boat up I think in terms of the engineering and the depth of that. Here we go. Okay, step on down. And here we go, twin engines in these. And these are a pair of Beta Marine engines and they are 75 horsepower each. Now they're giving the boat about 10 knots flat out. She'll cruise at about seven and a half. And at seven and a half knots, she'll do about 2,700 miles, nautical miles. So some serious range and in fact, drop down to six knots and you'll pass 3,000 miles. So it's a proper, transatlantic range it's a serious boat now the things i wanted to mention in here particularly are that these are completely mechanical engines there's no electronics on there to go wrong so those cables that i mentioned in terms of actually how you drive it but also just in terms of the control generally it's completely mechanical so all that side of it the possibility of having computer problems or electronic problems and that stopping your engines that's gone the other thing that this boat has which is very very impressive is the fuel tanks are outside of the engines, one each side, but there's also a day tank. So these fuel tanks don't feed the engines. They feed the day tank. Day tank is down in the center and there's a fuel polishing system. So there are two things that can stop the engines. The electronics is one, that's completely eradicated and the other is dirty fuel and that's eradicated by having that fuel polishing system. So that's over here and you can see just how well plumbed this all is. If we get a bit closer, you'll be able to see all the labeling on here and the controls for this. So what that is doing is it's taking the fuel and it's running it through a cleaning system, a polishing system is what they call it. And that means that the fuel then that reaches the day tank is completely clear and clean. However, having said that, even then, you've got fuel filters over here. If you had a blockage on one of the fuel filters, you can just switch from one to the other and keep going. 
So the amount of redundancy on this boat is brilliant. These are the track stabiliser systems. You can just see them if I put the camera in there. There we go, that's better. You can see where those are. Also in here then is the generator. So that's running things like the air conditioning systems and all of your 240 volt systems. Big fire extinguishing systems in here as well. Let's come right onto the back. These are a straight shaft drive. You can see the shafts running out through here and they have dripless seals on them so that those uh, shaft logs where the shafts go through the hull, they won't drip into the boat. They kept completely dry. Everything on here is neatly marked. You've got sight gauges for the fuel tank. So that's the day tank right at the back and you can see exactly how much fuel it's got. Obviously it's got gauges as well, but it means that down here you've got a mechanical way of seeing how much fuel you have left. That's the control for the track stabilizers. For a 41 foot boat, this is a fantastic engine room. Not quite a standing headroom, but you wouldn't expect it. But I'll tell you what, it's not far off and it's so well lit and so easy to reach everything. It's really, really nice. And as I say, the fact these engines are completely mechanical, the fact they've got that fuel polishing system, it is designed so that you can go out and you can stay out and you can keep going pretty much no matter what. Awesome, let's come out of here. And we will drop that one back down. And there it is. That is the smallest Nordhaven in the range, but it is absolutely proper classic Nordhaven nonetheless. Huge thanks to Nordhaven Europe. They've organized this tour for me. Huge thanks to you guys, of course, for watching. And let me know what you think. What do you think of this new baby Nordhaven? I think it's absolutely fantastic. We'll catch you on another one of these very soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.